James C. Collins, Good to Great, Why Some Companies Make the Leap and Others Don't. Welcome to the enlightening journey of transforming good companies into great ones, as revealed in Jim Collins' bestseller, Good to Great, Why Some Companies Make the Leap and Others Don't. This summary will offer key insights on essential elements such as the importance of a simple hedgehog concept, unwavering faith, and momentum to achieve greatness. Moreover, you'll discover the role of technology, disciplined culture, and level 5 leadership that make a substantial difference in driving success. Get ready to dive into a well-structured and engaging exploration of what transforms companies and sustains their excellence. Unleash your hedgehog concept. Picture a persistent fox scheming elaborate ways to capture a hedgehog, who continuously curls up into an impenetrable, spiky ball. This unfailing strategy allows the hedgehog to triumph every time. Just as the hedgehog embraces simplicity, so do good to great companies by discovering their own hedgehog concept. To unearth this, organizations ask three essential questions, what can they excel at, what ignites their passion, and which economic indicator should they focus on? The answers help companies develop a clear, straightforward concept, which they abide by unwaveringly, leading to success. For instance, Walgreens Drugstore identified their hedgehog concept as becoming the best, most convenient drugstore with high customer profits per visit. Staying true to this concept, Walgreens outperformed the general stock market by a factor of seven, while their competitor, Eckerd Pharmacy, who lacked a clear hedgehog concept, expanded inconsistently and eventually vanished. Just like the hedgehog's unfaltering strategy, having a simple, defining hedgehog concept provides companies with a roadmap to victory. Building momentum for success. Companies that achieve greatness experience a series of small, incremental steps that drive them towards a well defined goal, as opposed to abrupt changes or hasty decisions. This steady progress, akin to pushing a flywheel, generates a motivating cycle of improvement and results which ultimately leads to breakthroughs. For instance, Nucor, a once-struggling steel manufacturer, focused on a targeted strategy of creating mini-mills and subsequently outperformed the market. Unlike these thriving companies, others often resort to quick fixes, unable to sustain momentum and ultimately achieving lackluster outcomes. In the end, consistent progress in the right direction is the key to long-term success. Technology as Momentum Accelerator Good to great companies recognize that technology should be utilized as a catalyst to propel their existing goals and strategies forward, rather than as the main driver of direction. These companies avoid jumping on technological bandwagons without a clear vision of how it will benefit their long-term objectives. Real-life success stories, such as Walgreens, illustrate the power behind harnessing new technology in a strategic manner. By carefully analyzing the potential of e-commerce, Walgreens effectively enhanced their customers' experiences while improving profitability, which ultimately led to significant growth in their stock value. The key takeaway is that technology should serve as an accelerator towards a goal, not the goal itself. Humble Heroes of Success Companies experience transformative success under Level 5 leadership, which merges ambition and humility. These rare leaders focus on company achievements instead of seeking personal glory, willingly accept fault, and prioritize succession planning. A prime example of Level 5 leadership is Darwin Smith, who revolutionized Kimberly Clark, while remaining unpretentious and grounded. In comparison, self-centered CEOs, like Stanley Galt of Rubbermaid, cause the company to suffer in the long term due to the absence of thorough succession plans. Level 5 leaders are vital in propelling organizations from good to great. The Power of Right People The journey from good to great begins by prioritizing who over what in any organization. Successful companies understand the importance of having the right people on board and making unsuitable employees move on. Leaders like Dick Cooley of Wells Fargo exemplify this by assembling a strong team that Warren Buffett praised as the best management team in business, which led to the company's immense success. 
emphasizing character traits instead of solely professional abilities, good to great firms believe that the right people can be taught and developed. These companies focus on attracting and paying the right employees, creating a productive environment where hard workers flourish and the unmotivated leave. Moreover, they exercise patience in their hiring process, waiting for the right person rather than making hasty decisions. When they do identify unsuitable employees, they take swift and decisive action, either by cycling them to more fitting roles or letting them go. In essence, building a foundation of greatness starts with selecting the right people and positioning them accordingly. Embracing the Stockdale Paradox The Stockdale Paradox, named after a U.S. admiral who endured the brutality of a Vietnam War prison, signifies confronting harsh realities with unwavering faith. Good to great companies uphold this principle in their own situations, facing competition without losing hope. Through Kimberly Clark's success over Procter & Gamble, we see the significance of addressing difficulties while maintaining an enduring belief in victory. Admiral Stockdale's tortuous experience as a POW in Vietnam inspired the Stockdale Paradox, where survival depends on facing difficulties without losing faith. He endured the infamous Hanoi Hilton without succumbing to the false optimism of his fellow prisoners, who anticipated release by Christmas. Stockdale attributed his survival to steadfastly facing his brutal situation while never losing faith. Similarly, good to great companies exemplify the Stockdale paradox, tackling challenges head-on without losing enthusiasm. When Procter & Gamble, PNG, disrupted the paper-based goods market, competitors Scott Paper and Kimberly Clark reacted distinctly. Scott Paper retreated by diversifying their portfolio, while Kimberly Clark embraced the opportunity to compete. This fearless attitude, combined with a determination to confront and overcome obstacles, resulted in Kimberly Clark acquiring Scott Paper and outperforming PNG in the majority of product categories. In essence, the Stockdale paradox teaches the importance of facing harsh realities while maintaining unwavering faith in ultimate triumph, a lesson exemplified by successful companies. Embrace brutal facts fearlessly. A strong leader's charisma can unintentionally obscure the harsh truth, but embracing a Socratic approach during management meetings can reveal valuable insights. Encouraging open debate and discussions, even about uncomfortable issues, fosters sound decision-making. Instead of assigning blame when mistakes occur, leaders should focus on learning from these situations, and establish mechanisms for identifying crucial business signals. Companies that confront and address issues honestly demonstrate a clear path towards greatness, and leaders must facilitate an environment where brutal facts are addressed fearlessly. Charismatic leaders can sometimes intimidate team members, causing them to shy away from discussing unpleasant truths. To bring these issues to light, leaders should adopt a Socratic role in meetings and ask questions that uncover their team's true opinions. They should also encourage heated debates so the best possible decisions can emerge. Take Pitney Bowes, for example, a company that transformed itself from a postage meter producer into a major document handling solution provider, outperforming the general stock market by a factor of seven. Yet, its management focused on discussing worrisome facts rather than their accomplishments. When errors occur, it's crucial to study them without assigning blame, as doing so may discourage the truth from emerging. Introducing red flag mechanisms to highlight critical business signals can help managers confront difficult issues head-on. Companies that face harsh realities and deal with them honestly are more likely to excel in their industry. A leader's role is to create a space where brutal facts are discussed openly and without hesitation. Culture of Discipline Triumphs Dave Scott, a former triathlete, exemplifies self-discipline and diligence, traits shared by individuals in good-to-great companies. These companies adopt the hedgehog concept, a simple, focused strategy that drives success. For example, Wells Fargo recognized the importance of operating efficiency in a deregulated banking environment and made significant, sometimes extreme, changes. This commitment showcases their willingness to push boundaries in pursuit of greatness. A disciplined company culture, however, must not be mistaken for the presence of a tyrannical CEO. 
Firms that temporarily achieve greatness under such leaders tend to crumble after their departure, as seen with Rubbermaid after CEO Stanley Galt left. For enduring success, instill a culture of unwavering self-discipline to stay committed to the simple hedgehog concept. Having delved into Jim Collins' good to great, we now understand the critical aspects that drive companies towards sustained greatness and transcendence in their respective industries. These core principles include uncovering the company's simple hedgehog concept, building steadfast momentum, embracing discipline and technology, and having resolute faith in the face of challenges. Throughout this summary, we have learned about the exceptional leadership qualities that catapult companies to success, the importance of having the right people on the team, and fostering an environment that nurtures truthful conversations. This knowledge, when applied, has the potential not only to transform businesses but also to leave an indelible impact on their journey to greatness.